Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and we're back with another crime news episode. Authorities are investigating after a 19-year-old man died after being shot outside a restaurant. At just before 12.30am on Friday the 21st of July, authorities responded to a walk-in person shot at Ascension St. Vincent Hospital on 86th Street in Indianapolis, Indiana. When officers arrived, they found Nuruddin Mokhtar Muhammadu in a critical condition. At around 1am, Nuruddin succumbed to his injuries. Investigators learned that Nuruddin was shot in the parking lot of an Arby's restaurant at 7002 Georgetown Road, where investigators found at least a dozen shell casings. The restaurant was closed at the time of the shooting, but workers still cleaning up heard the shots and ran to the back of the kitchen. No bullets appeared to have hit the building. Investigators said that after Nuruddin was shot, a friend rushed him to the hospital. No arrests have been made, and police have not identified any suspects as the investigation into the matter continues. So, he got dropped off at the hospital by a friend. The friend didn't stay, or he must have been there, because he didn't, he didn't give no account of what happened. Um, sorry that had to happen to the young fella. A 21-year-old pregnant woman was fatally shot, and four others injured after a fight broke out at a park. At 1.14am on Saturday the 22nd of July, Authorities responded to Margaret Jenkins Park at 10700 Rosehaven Drive in Houston, Texas, after shot spotter technology detected three dozen shots fired at that location. Upon arriving at the scene, investigators learned that a fight broke out between several groups of people at the park, where an altercation led to some taking out firearms and shooting. The victim, identified as Autumn Lachey Valiant, was with her friends and family. So these niggas just can't take no butt whipping no more. They just pulling guns, shooting because they can't fight no more. His fighting used to be the thing, but there wasn't no internet for that back then, so it'd be a local celebrity if somebody had a camera back then. Family at a birthday party cookout when the fight broke out. She got caught up in the crossfire while trying to leave the area. Autumn, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was five months pregnant at the time. Her unborn child also did not survive the shooting. Autumn's mother, Ebony Valiant, said that my daughter came telling me, pulling me, Mama, let's get away, let's get away. I looked back. My baby was down on the ground, gone, she said. Ebony said, I just lost my baby. She was in school trying to get a job, trying to become something, and she's gone now. Autumn's family said that our first time seeing the baby will be when we bury her. We will never get the chance to see her as a mother. Authorities said that four other people were struck by gunfire. Three of the people struck were transported to a local hospital, two of whom were the suspected shooters, and are reportedly in a stable condition. One person suffered a graze wound and did not go to hospital. The two shooting suspects have been detained at the hospital. Police are investigating to see if there are any additional suspects. No charge. So, two of the guys that were shooting went to the hospital too. She, she died and another person got shot with graze but didn't go to the hospital. So, pretty soon they'll know all the information once they get them youngsters a pizza and they're going to tell on everybody. I just have been announced to date. A homicide investigation is underway after a 26-year-old man was fatally shot at a party over the weekend. At around 3am on Saturday the 22nd of July, authorities responded to a building along the 300 block of West Hampton Street in Anderson, South Carolina on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived at the scene, they found a man in a critical condition with gunshot wounds. Medics treated him at the scene and rushed him to a local hospital, where he succumbed to his injuries at 3.35am. A coroner's office identified the victim as 26-year-old Derek Lamar Wiley of Anderson. Authorities said it appears that Derek was attending a party with a large gathering of people and was involved in an altercation resulting in him being shot multiple times. What they was partying in, in a barn? That looked like someone, that was look like one way in, one way out. Surprised he the only one got shot, the way that looked. times, his death has been ruled a homicide. No arrests or suspects have been named to date as the investigation into the matter continues. So he was at a party, he got shot, and nobody know who shot him, and nobody even saying anything. So this is Anderson, South Carolina. I've been there before.
27-year-old Anton Arnold is behind bars after fatally beating 47-year-old John McCall. On Thursday the 13th of July, authorities were called to the Prisma Health Greenville Memorial Hospital in South Carolina after John was admitted with multiple blunt force blows to his head and face. Upon further investigation, authorities learned that Anton committed the assault on the victim at a home about four miles away on Probst Drive in Powdersville. Anton was located, interviewed and later arrested, and initially charged with assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature, while John remained hospitalized. Authorities said that Anton admitted to beating John with a metal baseball bat. Days later, John passed away from his injuries. After an autopsy was completed, You have to have a lot of anger in you to beat a man with a bat till he did. And take a lot of energy and hatred in your heart to just pummel somebody like that. Anton's charge was upgraded to murder. He's been held without bond at the Anderson County Detention Center. The relationship between the men and the motive in the attack is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. So there you have it. Another news episode from Stutterpot TV. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. And thank you for joining me today. See you guys next time.